There's times when I used to be a jammer and I can't walk for three days. It's, it's pretty brutal on your body. And that's another reason I like kind of playing in the pack, so-called, is what I do now. I play a lot in the pack, but I don't get as beat up as I used to as a jammer because everybody wants to kill the jammer. gotten laid out more times than I could probably count. I had a hairline fracture on my left foot. My very first game of the season, I tried to play the second game, put me out for about six to eight weeks. I've, um, as a technicality, broken somebody's nose before, not, not intentionally, but I hit their player who hit her, and when she fell, her elbow went up, and the other girl's nose went right into it. Um, there's too quick has broken her collarbone. <laughs> complete tear of my PCL, it's one of the ligaments in your knee, um, ACL and PCL cross in the middle of your knee. And the first time I did it, I had a complete tear in my left PCL and missed one of our first home bouts because of it, and then did physical therapy, came back to do it, and then the following year had the exact same injury in my other knee. I had a girl from Arizona come up on my shoulder and hit me down to the ground. We thought she broke my collarbone. It's the game, you know, you just forget about it and you move on. I had a little small dislocation, but I was back in the game in two weeks. But that was pretty brutal, and she was a pretty big gal. So that's what I mean about jamming for me is something that I think is for the younger girls now. I just take more of a leadership role on the track these days.